And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. I'm very excited to be bringing you live action from Ligue 1, the top division here in France. It's Olympic Marseille facing Saint-Étienne. Hi, Derek. Thank you. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to start off the game really quickly. Really attack the opposition, put them on the back foot, see what comes of that. Hopefully we get a good game. And here's how it looks for Marseille. Steve Mondonda stands between the posts. Gloria Tova starts with Dimitri Payet in the wide areas. And the striker is Valère Germain. Well, this is the team that Saint-Étienne will go with. Pretty well balanced, this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. And the contest begins. Sakai. Targets available, cross comes in. Not far away at all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique. And oh, so close. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him? Well, his ball possession will be his key. People give him the ball because they know he links the play. You give him the ball, then you make a run, you normally get the ball back, which is very encouraging. Tova, Strootman. Here's Tova. Germain. He takes aim. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, here we see a better angle on it. There's nothing the keeper can do. A significant deflection, and he's beaten. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. <laughs> the opening goal of the game, then. Villa. Really a very poor ball. In position here to protect the ball. Huanga. It is a decent looking attack here. 
Well, it was a very good-looking move, but alas, no end product. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Payet. And breaking at pace with Menace. Strootman. Germain. And he's taken it away. Here's Roma Hamuma. Now that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Chalet Tsar. Now Hiroki Sakai. Strootman. And do they mean business on this occasion? because the referee is pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. He's now got to be extra careful. A verbal warning rather than a caution here. Yeah, the next one, he knows where he's going. In the book. A goal it is! A confidently taken penalty! Well, as we see, this is probably the best angle. He picked his spot, he didn't change his mind, and the keeper's got no chance. A chance to revisit the goal. So 2 0 now. My oh goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Marseille possession stats are pretty good. Really starting to dictate the tempo of this game now. And they're creating chances as well. I'm not sure their opponents seem to have the answer, to be honest. They can't seem to get a foothold in this game. Now, can he deliver accurately? And you need your defender to take charge. Germain. It's with Camara. Shot attempted. Well, body in the way. Jan Mvila now. Mvila. Fofana. Hamuma. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Camera. Korojijak. Superbly read and executed. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Valentin Rogier. Strootman. Here's Toba. Moving into the advanced position. Foiling them effectively. Has a go. Whatever it takes to keep them out. Very much run of the mill as saves go. The first half here comes to an end. And we're focusing on him for a reason. He's asking plenty of questions of the defenders, Lee. Well, his movement is so good. You can see why he causes defenders so much trouble and a goal to boot as well. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Mvila. Hamuma. Strootman. Payet. And here is Yuto Nagatomo. Couldn't keep it. Here's Roma Hamuma. 
I think everyone knew that was foul play and the referee left with little choice but to award the free kick. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Tobin. Germain. Just Tobin. Wow, this might pay dividends. And a substitution in the offing. Villa. Arnaud Nordin. Options around him. Can they get in behind them? And after the cross, a tremendous block. Half an hour remaining then. Payet. Strootman. Useful looking ball. And now waiting to pounce. Pivotoma. Keeper's contribution, but what next? So a throw in here. Crossing possibilities. An attack full of promise. A deft clearance. Valentin Rogier. Kevin Strootman. Valère Germain. And putting his body on the line. Debussy with it. Mathieu Debussy. Far from a good pass. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. I just couldn't keep the ball. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Valentin Rogier. I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. So two substitutes to come on in one go. Valentin Rogier. Valer Germain. Good visualization and execution. Not to be this time. Hamuma. Not bad. Now let's see what they can do here. Arnaud Nordin. And he was in the right place to intercept. Valère Germain. Payet. Germain. Lopez. Marseille have lost possession. And the danger cleared. Valentin Rogier. Nagatomo, Payet, Germain, excellent vision, oh surely, oh the referee points to the spot, penalty, it's truly a horrendous position they're in now, a player sent off, a penalty to face on the wrong end of the scoreline Lee. Well the only way it can get any worse is if this penalty goes in, awful position for the side now. given a corner they referee they've decided to take the corner short a 
And that is how to block. And there goes the final whistle. In the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, lots of boxes ticked. His team won. He scored a penalty kick, which he never looked like missing, and also had a good performance. Well done.